Hi YouTubers, it is I, Hell Gear, and it's time once again for a Squid Research Lab Splatoon 2 Ability Discussion. Now I said before how Sweet Sweet Ninja Squid combines well with the slang Ninja Jump, aka Stealth Jump. Well, we're going to be talking about it today. And not just Stealth Jump, but the very perk that walks hand in hand with it like gangsta quick super jump now I give my pieces on these two abilities in the at the end of our discussional tale here but as always to those of you who are wondering check out the squid research lab channel on the splatoon 2 news and as usual please and I do mean this please share your opinions about these articles in the comment section below I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on the matter, not just of this volume, but also my little words on this as well. Hello Inklings and Oclings, welcome to a series of articles that are all about gear abilities. Not only will you learn helpful gear info, but we'll also give out free in-game gifts with each article. In this 13th article, we'll be giving you tips on the quick super and stealth jump abilities. Quick Super Jump ability increases the Super Jump speed, allowing you to quickly arrive to your teammates even after respawning. At maximum, this ability can decrease the time it takes to Super Jump by a quarter. So when you're in a pinch, you can use this ability to increase your chances of escaping after a successful retreat. Quick Super Jump allows you a swift return to the front lines to assist your teammates. Interesting. So, I guess you're going from, what is it, a full second, half second, quarter second. Okay. Interesting. By pairing quick super jump with abilities like stealth jump and drop roller, you can jump around the turf at will. <laughs> Speaking of our jumping abilities, these are foot loose footwear abilities. Drop roller and the stealth jump, aka ninja jump. You'll only find these on your shoes, folks. Huh. Tetra Dooleys. Stealth Jump hides your Super Jump landing point marker from distant players. Still, even with this ability equipped, if other players are within certain range, they will be able to see your landing point marker. So you'll have to be mindful when and where you jump. You always have to be mindful of when and where you jump. As a bonus, we'll be gifting our readers with 20 quick Super Jump ability chunks. You can get these ability chunks by starting up Splatoon 2 game with the link below. Please make sure you either have the game card inserted or the digital version of your system. Okay. And of course you got to hit it before this jumps off your uh, thingy. Now, here's what they didn't tell you. And this is something that came with Ninja Jump in the first game. While it does make your landing point invisible, it also takes you a little bit longer to blast off. And that's the beauty of combining it with quick super jump. Because the time where it'll take you to normally super jump is decreased when you have ninja jump. Having a ninja jump and a quick super jump on your, on your uh, 12 perks offsets this balance. It's just like how Ninja Squid slows down your swimming your swimming speed, but a swim speed up can offset the decrease in speed that you get. That's one of the main reasons why squids from the first game and octopi in disguise as squids would combine Ninja Jump, aka Stealth Jump, with Quick Super Jump. That way it would offset this balancing, you know, offset the slowdown for blast off time. And one of the things that I like, and I think I have one particular bit of footwear with one particular perk that has a lot of quick super jumps, 
when you hit it and you really move, it's a beautiful thing. Now, it's funny that they they introduced drop roller into this because drop roller is specific to Splatoon 2. Remember folks, drop roller allows you to as you're super jumping, you tilt the stick either <laughs> laterals or <laughs> the you know the verticals or horizontals and as soon as you land you'll do a dodge roll so to speak the timing is interesting you also get the same effect of this if you have dualies and the moment you land you in you activate a dodge roll I guess the quick, the quick super jump and dodge roll kind of helps you out because as every player knows, if you do an ink jump your landing point and you super jump to one of your teammates and get smacked, your opponents are going to stand right there and shoot at this point. So as you come down, you're taking fire. You've seen this happen to you. You've seen your teammates do this to opponents. No big deal. And the good thing about stealth jump is to reduce that sort of thing. So they don't know where to shoot. Now, the good tech from the first platoon. And this is something I love to do. Because we didn't have drop roller there is. I would see my opponent's enemy landing point and I would drop an ink mine right there. So as soon as they landed, they would trigger the ink mine, it would blow them up and give you the kill. But since ink mines don't, well, since ink mines are not lethal, they're more tactical now, they don't actually give you a splat count. So when it blows up, it's essentially in the same thing as that weird little box that echolocates you. So, one of the things that players would do is they would time a regular or a suction bomb so that when you land, it would blow up and give you the kill. You know, landing point text right there. One of the ways you offset this, and this is something I've done rocking my setup known as the tank because I run a blaster. And one of the good things to do to offset this little uh, super jump landing tech if you have a blaster is you aim the blaster down if you know you're coming up on some people who are shooting and you can fire it either just before hitting the ground or immediately as you hit the ground to get the splat. It's actually a really useful tech right there. So going back to the quick super and ninja jump combo really good really good pairing of abilities they pair very well with swim speed up and ninja squid actually if you do it right having your shirt with ninja squid because you know ninja squid is only exclusive to clothing and then a swim speed up then you have like your shoes with ninja jump and either extra perks on your shoes or some of the perks on your headgear with quick super jump you can set up a pretty tough to beat combination I know I had it back in the first platoon and it was very very beautiful so Playing quick super jump with drop roller is something that's going to be fun to play with, especially if you have multiple quick super jump perks alongside of your drop roller ability because you'll shoot off quickly, you'll land where you need to jump to faster, and then you'll be able to roll away in the event of trouble or that stray bomb. Wow. So as a recommendation you do want to combine quick super jump with your stealth jump it's a very formidable combination it's splatoon 1 tech and it works but that's all I'm going to say on this matter 
Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But there is one more thing I want to discuss also before we leave about Quick Super Jump. Quick Super Jump is a very sneaky ability to have if you have a weapon that has the splashdown special. Think of this for a moment. And I've done this before where I've had to quick super jump to somebody, but just before landing, activate a splashdown and clap everybody waiting for me to land. Do you know how beautiful that is if you have the ninja jump equipped to it before you do it? I'm not going to spoil that. I'm going to let you experiment with that one on your own. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.